Hello again, uh, this is going to be part seven and probably the, well yeah, will be the last um, video for the work in progress um, until the final reveal. Uh, ooh, yeah, what can I say? Awesome. Not what I've done, but the kit is oh, one of the best I've made um, with the Tamiya Spitfire there. This is for a helicopter it is phenomenal it really is so what i'll do is let me just turn the camera around and i'll show you where we are at the moment right this is where we are at the moment um all the wash was off <clears throat> um and i've really got um the desired effect that i was after it's grubby it's mingy it's but it's not for me ott it's as i would really like it uh, same for that side as well. Um, the canopy, oh, where do I start? I have never fitted a canopy like it, even on an aircraft, uh, well, as in, you know, an aeroplane. It is the best I've ever done. It really is. The top part there, all you do is you, you just sort of like plug it into its part there, into its segment, and just literally you bend it about a millimeter and just slot it in on top and that's it PVA glued it and it's there solid that one and that one you may as well just put a glove on Whoosh, it fits like a glove no gaps no arsenic no swear words or blasphemies anything so to that end I don't see any issues with fitting the actual um, cockpit, window, door, whatever, on the pilot or the actual um, gunner's side either, but I'll air them off. What I'm going to do is, I'm only going to use some oils lightly on this, um, where the fuel um, cap is, or on that side, bits and pieces all over, I'll use a, um, either raw amber or some streaking which I've got, um, AK ones, um, and I'll do whatever um so that's the main a-frame <clears throat> uh ordnance wise all done all sorted all need to be put on i did make a bit of a faux pas um because i thought they went on with the you got the, the gaps there to fit on here that they would fit on like that but they don't they fit on like that so what I'm going to do is just turn it slightly so you can see the decal. It's not going to bugger it up or anything else like that. It's going to work quite well. Sidewinders, they're done. They're all sorted out. The only thing I do have to do is to matte coat the actual, um, what can call it, pew, 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 um, rocket pods. And if I can, I might actually dip, I don't know, so I can get around because there's, well, I'm going to go blind if I actually try and paint all them individually. But anyway, that's where we're at. Um, the last thing as well, I've got the tail rotor. Um, that's all off. The clever thing is, you've got obviously the two parts there, but these are, you just slot in like that. So you've got no issues there at all. Really, really well made. There's parts over here out of camera, which will go on to this anyway. Um, but yeah, that's basically where I am at at the moment. It's going really well. Uh, so yeah, let's crack on. What should we do first? Uh, hang on, I don't know. I'll come back to you in a minute. Right. What I've done is put the Hellfires onto one of the racks. Um, I've just fitted another one onto there as well. They are super glued and they are pretty well secure on there. But I did put some super glue and then a dash of Tamiya Extra Thin just in the icon points as well. And it seems to have done all right. Um, for some odd reason, um, the front sensors here, or the front sort of like um, clear bit, four of them have come off and they're ace. You just put a bit of PVA, click, and that's it, and just wipe off the excess um, PVA. 
The other four, I don't know, it just didn't happen. It just broke. Um, so yeah, so what I've done is I've just put a couple of blobs of PVA on the tips there. Um, but what I'll do is once that's more, well, once it's a little bit drier, I'll stick a little bit more onto it. It gives you a bit more of a curvature for the actual center itself. But I'll just pop them there. So really all I'm doing at the moment is just sticking the Hellfires are on. Yeah, I am more. My God, what have you been eating? Jesus, Molly, that stinks again. God's sake. Bloody hell, Molly. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, I know. Stuff we give you. So, anyway. Blob of super glue there. Another part there. And it's literally sticking it on. Although it's not going in its proper gap or its proper place, it's okay. Not mega, just okay. And I'm happy with that. So literally all I'm doing is just gluing them on, making sure they're straight and they're attached properly and not on the piss like that one is. So yeah, and that's what I'll do. Carry on with this um, and glue the rest of them onto the actual main thing and have them attached to the actual helicopter themselves. So yeah, cool beans. Right, looks dry enough. Or should I say, feels dry enough. So all I'm gonna do is this one first. I've got two little tabs on there. On there. And just get a little bit more super glue on it. And I did have to open the apertures just slightly. So it would just pop on. Is that on? Yep, that's on. So let me just make sure that is straight on. Yep. And that's your four rack of Hellfires. That looks pretty damn mean. Yep, someone's day is gonna get totally ruined if that was a, a real job. Cool, right, so, I'll tell you what. Hold on a minute, I'll just stick the other ones on. Yeah, Molly. Yeah, Molly. So again, just there you go. And that's on. And again, nice and straight. What the hell? unusual for me and there you go four there and four there but I'll tell you what while I'm at it and while they're here let's just stick the sideies on 
I have test fitted these before and they just literally just click in. Literally slots in. Job done. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's looking mean, man. Awesome, right? Oh, may as well, eh? Why are you here? Do you know what? Although this has taken quite a bit, or you know, quite a bit of time to actually get this at this to this stage, really, really looking forward to doing the other one which I got because honestly, I mean, even if you're not into choppers or it's not your thing or whatever, it's just awesome kit and it has been from start to finish and that's it there's your hellfires and your sidewinders woohoo oh, chuffed with that right Basically glued the uh, two parts together for the actual rotor blades and the tail rotor. Now it does say on the instructions that you put these on first. Now I'm going to put the actual rotors onto the actual spinner thing in there first and then attach them. Um, it's all really to basically to do with making sure that everything lines up with this little fella here. So that's what I'm gonna do. If you, if you build this and you do it as per instructions, then that's cool. But um, these are a bit fiddly and the anchor points are, well, yeah, you just gotta watch the angles. So that's all I'm gonna do for that one. So I can paint those separately and then actually put them actually onto the tower at a system. So I'm going to be using the white top, although I'm using the semi extra thin brush for it. And just give you a bit more wiggle room to actually put it on. So just making sure that it's on. Yeah, get it around the right way, Lenny. Sorry. Yeah. I think this is a brand new bottle, and it's, yeah. It slides down the old uh, brush at a rapid rate of knots. So you just gotta be careful. Good thing as well, I mean, the angle, the blades are angled as well, and it really does set it off really, really nicely. So there we go, just making sure I'm not gonna put a hundred weight of glue on it. So be nice and secure. Oh, 
what I can do now is once this is all on, I can paint it when everything's together. I mean, it'll be easy enough because the, uh, the actual rotor blades there are sort of like the like compass grey and the inside will be the black so this literally I can do the rotor blades mask it all off and they've got like a black leading edge to them as well so I can mask that off which isn't the problem so I just find it a lot easier doing it that way than any other and if the only thing I, I do think this a bit mm, is the attachment point, which is a tiny, tiny little plug there. Basically, it will go into there, but all you've got is a tiny, teeny, tiny little notch there that's going to go into that thing there. So, basically, that is going to be the focal point of things coming off, if you know what I mean. So, anyway, what we'll do is we'll leave it there. Um, the only other things, I've got these little parts here, just got to sign them off, and those are the actuators for the actual doors themselves. And the other thing I've got to do is, you've got these parts here, which are attached to the main rotor blades, which are here. So you attach them onto that, and it goes into the four holes, which are in the actual hub there itself. So that's basically all I've got left to do. So what I'll do is, I'll crack on with this, I'll get everything painted up, I'll get all the, the rest of the ordnance, and then what I'll do is I'll finish the video with doing you know the actual last parts of the weathering, and then that'll be it, and we can do the actual final reveal. Okie dokie. Right, see you in a bit. Right, cracking on with some more of the weathering. Um, I'm gonna be using oils. Um, I've already diluted some, uh, what have we got, uh, raw umber and a teeny tiny bit of black. Um, as you can see on that side there, I haven't touched that side just yet. However, go on that side and hopefully you can see a bit of a difference. So that is what I'm hoping for will stay as it is. I'm not gonna go too overboard, although I'm looking at the camera now, or the screen, when I'm showing you this, and it looks absolutely bogging. But when I'm looking at it face to face, it's not. Anyway, that's cameras for you. Anyway, let's just pop that around. Now I've got to be careful where I actually hold this. So, basically, that's all I'm going to do. I'll perch it there. And literally, all I'm going to be doing is grabbing some oils. I'm just literally, I'm just patting it around. Just lightly. Some will be a lot more, sort of like, darker. And some will be a bit more diluted. But my aim for this is to make it as uneven as I possibly can, but as natural as I can. So the idea is that this helicopter is in, I don't know, Afghanistan, Iraq, somewhere. Somewhere where there's trouble and He's on the warpath and he's just come back. He's refueled, um, rearmed, and he's basically ready to pop out again and kick somebody else's ass. So, and that is the general gist of it. Once it dries, it dries back. It dries like a more of a mat than a satin. Um, but you know that's what I'm after. And if I do cock it up. All I'm gonna do is use another paintbrush and all I can do is just just dab it around and I'll take most of it off. But with it still on the brush, I can still play with it and maybe get another effect, which I'm after. In fact, you know what, I like that. I'm gonna keep that. 
and that's generally what I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm going to concentrate again more on the engine side and when it comes down to the back end where the Marines is, all I'm going to do is use, again I think I'll use more the raw umber, um, completely dry on a sheet of paper and I'm just going to basically dry brush it basically from where the down rotor wash is and along to probably about there getting the camera but i'm not going to kick the arse out of that because a lot of the pictures i've seen there isn't an awful lot of staining whether they've rubbed it off but different aircraft from different squadrons or whatever they're all sort of like weather different so i'm not going to be going hell for leather and just spray that completely black because that just look unrealistic i shall do it enough if you know what i mean so you can tell the difference between the darker grey and the lighter grey and obviously with the marines and the contrast of it. So that's basically what I'm going to be doing. So what I'll do is I'll come back when I progress a little bit further. Now, cracking on. Molly's asleep. And again, we're just going around one like of the panel lines. And it's literally, I'm just learning the brush up. The fact, oh, okay. That's all I'm using. It's quite heavily thinned. And that's just raw umber. And just literally just loading the brush up, getting the, you know, a lot of it off, and then just dabbing it. And that's all I'm doing is putting it on very, very lightly and just dabbing it over actual panel lines and stuff like that. You know, you've got the old capillary action where it'll just shoot off, which is fine. Absolutely no problem with that. And go a little bit darker. Yeah, it's just... A lot of the time when you do it, especially along down this little bit here, you can hardly see it, but that's fine. I'm not after like great big bulges of like thick mud and goo and crap everywhere. It's although you know you, you're not specifically going to be going. Oh, look at that bit there! When you've got the whole kit, it's what's it's what's going on in your, in your brain. It's what it, your brain actually computes, and most of it you're not going to see because your brain is looking at the overall picture, if you know what I mean, the overall kit. Well, that's my reckoning anyway. So, that's that side done. I have gone a bit more dirty along here. Basically, you know, with, with the engine, and I think what I might do is, is do the same on that side, because I didn't do as much on this side. So, so yeah, what's that side? And that's that one. So yeah, cool. Right, what I'll do is, I'll set that down, do that other side, and what I'll do is, I'll start to crack on with the exhaust staining along here. Cool. Right, just the last thing is the tail rotor. Uh, basically, everything's together. Um, I've masked it off. I've done that side, so I've just got to do this side now. And what I'll do is, for the main workings on the inside, I'm just going to put a bit of the old buffable paint, probably the dark iron, and then just buff it over, because uh, I did the same to the actual gearbox, if it's the actual gearbox itself, or an actual tail rotor as well. And that is basically it. It's only a very, very quick go over anyway and not keeping it all nice and fresh and just want a little bit just a little bit mold just to say you know it's it's being used
And once it's dry, we'll stick it on. And just with a few other bits, odds and sods, that'll be it. Cool beans. Ooh. Right, and that's it. Um, just the last bits and pieces, just to stick on. And yeah, that's it. It's finished, over with. I'm not gutted, because I know I've got another one to do. Uh, <laughs> well, I'll be gutted when that one's finished, probably. But uh, but no, um, just want to say thanks for um, tuning in and watching the, the progress on this helicopter. I've loved every second of it. There's not one bit on this kit where I've gone, mm, really? No, it is as near as perfect kit as you could actually ask for, I think. Um, I know it's pretty strong of me to say that. But, uh, but yeah, I generally think it is. It is an awesome kit. I keep looking at it. Mm. It's awesome. Right, next thing you'll see, um, either however you're watching this, um, will be the final reveal. I'm just going to do pictures. I'm not going to do a video. I'll just be pictures. And we'll go from there. Okay? On to the next project. Whatever that might be. Well... I'm actually doing a Lynx at the moment, but I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Okie dokie. Oh, right. I shall see you on the next video. Until then, um, look after yourselves. Um, yeah, enjoy yourselves. Cool. Right, see you later. Doodle bit.